He is the answer. Okay. He's everything that I need. Amen. So if I can't bring him in the city, come on, come on. How can I praise him in my house? Come on. Come on. Mr. Deanna Way. is wretched. It is meaningful, meaningless without you. So remove me, God, and touch me from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet, mm -hmm. that I may be used as the instrument yes, Lord. by you. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. The question was asked, who will go? And Lord, here am I. Amen. 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 We give you honor. Hallelujah. Glory and we give you praise. Bless her, Lord. Bless her, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
without him, we are nothing. Mm -hmm. To our pastor, Pastor Means, to our first lady, Amen. to the ministers on the roster, to my beautiful husband, my king, Reverend Kamar, all the deacons, members, and friends. I will not be before you long today. <laughs> church all right <clears throat> our scripture will be coming from Joshua mm. the sixth chapter I would that you read it in its entirety mm. for it is only 27 verses But for today's message, I will read in your hearing verses 1 through 7, verse 10, and verse, verses 15 and 16. All right. All right. Let it go. And this is the King James Version. <laughs> Now Jericho was straightly shut up because of the children of Israel. None went out and none came in. And the Lord said unto Joshua, See, I have given into thine hand Jericho, and the king thereof, and the mighty men of valor. And ye shall compass the city, all ye men of war, and go round about the city once. Thus shalt thou do six days, and seven priests shall bear before the ark seven trumpets of ram's horns, and the seventh day ye shall compass the city seven times, and the priests shall blow with the trumpets, and it shall come to pass that when they make a loud blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, all the people shall shout with a great shout, and the wall of the city shall fall flat, and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him. And Joshua the son of Nun called the priests and said unto them, Take up the ark of the covenant, and let seven priests bear seven trumpets of rams horn before the ark of the Lord. We'll move to verse 10. To the day I bid you shout, and then ye shall shout. Verses 15 and 16. And it came to pass on the seventh day that they rose early about the dawning of the day and compassed the city after the same manner seven times. Only on that day they compassed the city seven times. 
And it came to pass that at the seventh time, when the priest blew the trumpets, Joshua said unto the people, Shout! 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 For the Lord has given you the city. Thus is the reading of God's word. now. And so Moses touched and appointed Joshua. Yeah. And Joshua became the commander in chief, or excuse me, he became the general because God is the commander in chief. All right. But Joshua became the general of the children of Israel and led them from one city to the next city in battle at God gave them city after city. Come on. And so here we are now. Verse 1 says, see. God said to Joshua, see. Not so much in the physical aspect with the eye. Come on. But in the spiritual aspect. That's what we as Christians, we neglect to do. Is to see with the spiritual eye. Yeah. But we pause there because God said, see, because it was an attention getter for Joshua. Amen. He said, what I need you to do well, is forget about the wilderness and the devastation because of the disobedience of my children. Yeah. What I need you to do is see with faith what I promised. I will do. I need you to see with your spiritual eyes that I'm the same God hey. of Moses, on, the same on, on, God of Abraham. I will give you what I said I will give you because I'm God. Amen. See with your spiritual eyes. So he called into attention Joshua's faith. We run to inspirational books and motivational speakers and, and there's nothing wrong with that because everyone has their gifts and their talents but what God is saying at the onset see me mm. see that I'm tried and proven All right. see that I'm the rock of ages yeah. see yeah. that I'm the lily of the valley hey. see that I'm Yeah. So once Joshua sees and pulls his faith into check, into the forefront, we hear God's instruction, his battle. Come on. The nerve that we ain't gave to Jesus yet. 
Come on, that come lad on, come couldn't learn. Well. But he said, no. Shut your mouth. Hey. Open your spiritual eyes and circle the city of Jericho. Jericho, to put it in perspective, was about a half mile long. And it was no bigger than the Lincoln Pool in D.C. Yeah. It's no bigger than just a block or two on this upper valley pipe. Yeah. The reason that's important is because one might say you had elderly, some elderly people, you had young children, right. and you want them to march around the city six times. But when God does it, does something, it doesn't take him long. Come on, come on. See, God already knew what they could bear. Amen. So the city wasn't that big. They just had 11, almost 12 foot walls, high walls, thick walls that intimidated many people and kept many people out at 28 foot high towers yeah. that if they wanted we call them snipers in this day Come but on. they had bozemen they had people who could shoot their arrows with precision they had men of valor that means men who were experienced and steady and <coughs> all right so jericho intimidated a lot of people well, but see, I believe with my um, spiritual imagination, the reason he said do this six times starting out because he wanted us to remember back in Genesis. Hmm. Hallelujah. He took six days to do his creative work. Come, come on, right come on, come on. He took six days come on, come on. to make us dominion and and dominate over everything that he's created. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I believe that the six represented a reminder of how for six days God worked for us. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So that on the seventh day, well, well he rests. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. And we pray. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then he gets ready. Yeah. To start it over again. Yeah. 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 Working come on. Come on. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Come on, you, come on, come on. As a reminder that he is God. Yeah. He'll order our steps. Mm -hmm. He'll watch over us, set a light for our pathway. And he'll tell anyone, if I, God, be for them, who dare have the audacity to go against me? Amen, come amen. On now. Come on. So I just believe with my spiritual imagination that the six days represented a reminder yeah and the silence come on you know how it is sometimes at night when you lay awake yeah. you ain't got no more tears to cry come on come on and it's the silence the thickness of the silence and your faith lets you know that God is hearing the silence yeah. so in the six rounds of the city the silence. And so that God discerns the heart of his people. Amen. Amen. The silence is so the Holy Spirit embeds in them the word of God. The silence is that God gives them what he wants them to have. Yeah. Come on. Come on. So here we are. Come on, come on.
shut up in your bunk. Ha! Ah. Come on, come on. And it be an unconsumable fire. And you won't be able to do anything else but praise me. Seven represents completion. Only so God can start it over. Amen. So then Joshua he gives the instructions to his warriors, his men of valor, to the children of Israel. Yeah. I need you to be quiet. In Deuteronomy 20 and 10, God instructs them before you go to war. now.
Uh-huh. My grief. Come on, come on now. I was going to circle around come on. the depression come on. that hit me. Come on now. And the trumpet would blow. Come on now. Because I circled right. around uh-huh. my grief. Come on now. Okay, do you, do you hear what I'm saying? Come on, come on. And so then, on the seventh day, well. I decided. I was gonna drop another stronghold. Hey, come on! I decided come on. to circle about come on. my poverty, come on. living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, come on, come on! And then I hear the trumpets of jubilee come on. blowing. Come on! I'm starting to get hope. Come on! Somebody gonna get this. Hey! I come may on. be the only one. Come on! I need to circle some things. Come on now. But then I decided another stronghold I was going to circle in my life. Was that I'm not going to worry about what other people say. What other people think about me. I'm going to drop that stronghold. And then I hear the trumpets blowing. All right. Somebody may not have anything. You need to circle. But that's okay. I'm going to keep on because I've got another. I've got another. I'm going to circle the stronghold of cancer and my family. The stronghold of early death in my family. I'm going to circle bad health. And then I'm going to hear the trumpets of Jubilee. Y'all may not understand. Come on, come on. You may not have anything that you need to circle. But I got another for myself. I said, I'm going to circle. I'm going to circle another stronghold. My children, my godchildren, my family, some of them are battling against spiritual realms and they don't understand that God is still God. Then I'm going to hear the trumpets below and I'm going to get hope. That's all right. Y'all may not have anything that you need to circle about, but I got another stronghold. I got another stronghold. I'm going to circle. I'm going to circle all those 
on, come on. Come on.
that story. He created you and fashioned you in his image, Thank in you. his life. So he already knows what you stand in need of. Thank you, Lord. He already knows the desires of your heart. Thank you, Lord. The Bible says, ask and ye shall receive. Thank yes. you, Lord. Yes, sir. If you don't ask, you, you can't receive. Thank you, Jesus. Will there be one this morning? Thank you, Jesus. We offer Christ to you because there is no one else. We offer Christ to you because he is the true and the living God. The one who can heal your body, heal your mind, heal your soul, heal your spirit, restore you back to health. He'll give you brand new life. A new life abundantly. He just say, come. Just come. Come on. Whatever you need this morning, your Father in heaven already knows. Whatever you need.